Hey guys, welcome back to another session. I am Damien and we are ending off today the series, Things I Wish Jesus Never Said. And as we know, Jesus said a few things that kind of hit home very hard and we know it's difficult to do. But we need to understand that when Jesus said this, he had our best interests at heart. What do I mean by best interests? Well, there are a lot of things that we do sometimes we shouldn't be doing. For example, we shouldn't get angry and act out of anger. Instead, we should act out of love. And we've got the other one, which also Mark also did as well, which is do not judge. And Unfortunately, as Christians today, we do a lot of that. We, we judge and sometimes we don't know it. Some, as I said before, sometimes sin can be something that we don't even realize we're doing. It's a habit and we don't realize it is a bad habit. And then we obviously went into a few other things as well. And last week we looked at gouge out your eye if it's sin so in other words if you look at a guy or girl uh, very lustfully for example uh that's when jesus says gouge out your eye thank goodness we don't actually have to do it which is amazing guys but i want to direct your attention to this week's topic and that is do not worry and i must admit this is the biggest thing i wish jesus never said because if you look at it, we all worry. We all worry about tomorrow. We all worry about our past. And I want to just direct your attention to this video real quick. What was that? <laughs> the weather. <laughs> Very peculiar. Don't you think? Yeah. Looks like the winds are changing. Ah, uh, change is good. Yeah, but it's not easy. I know what I have to do, but going back means I'll have to face my past. I've been running from it for so long. Ow! Jeez, what was that for? It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> yeah, but it still hurts. Oh, yes, the past can hurt. But the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. Ah! You see? So what are you going to do? First... I'm gonna take your stick. No, 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 no! Not your stick! Hey! Where are you going? I'm going back! Good! Go on! Get out of here! <laughs> now, as you can see here, we all know the Lion King, right? We all know it. And we all know how things happen and it just develops and it actually turns us into the person that we are today. And what Rafiki said was actually right. It doesn't matter. It's in the past. In the same way it happens when we get forgiven by Jesus. And I want to direct you to this verse real quickly. And it comes from Matthew 6. And we're reading from... 31 to 34 and it says here therefore do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for after all these things the gentiles seek for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things sufficient for the day its own trouble and that's the word of god for today so guys what does this mean what is jesus saying here? well quite simply look to god first we all tend to want to do things out of our own power. For example, you might have got uh, are in a situation right now where you're like, man, I just want to get out of here. Times are tough. 
For example, uh, there are a few of you that are watching this that are from the main church. And you might be going through some really, really tough times right now. Because of what's happening in our country and globally. But I want to use this verse and or this passage, should I say, and say, do not worry. I know it's easier said than done. I know it's not the easiest thing to go through, but we need to understand. And I'm going to quote a, a, a movie, and that was um, the movie Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, where Newt Scamander and... Jacob Kowalski were going to capture this one creature and Newt said, you know, I only believe that, you know, when you worry, you suffer twice. And in a way, it's so true because why? When we do these sort of things where we worry, sometimes we worry and then it doesn't happen. And then we're like, man, why did I worry? And sometimes we worry and then it does happen. Then we've suffered twice. But I want to encourage each and every single one of you that is watching today, whether you're in the youth, whether you're in the main church, that things will get better. If we lean towards God and Jesus, and Jesus said this, seek first the kingdom of God. Focus your time and your efforts on Him, and rather than focusing your time and efforts on something that you're worrying about. I know it's easier said than done, ladies and gents. I really, really do know that this is easier said than done. But if we look at the birds, you must probably hear them in the background. Do they worry? No. Do they worry they're going to get food? No. Do they worry about where they're going to sleep? No. Why? Because God has provided for them. God has given them the stuff that they need. And so will God do the same for you. So therefore, do not worry. Do not worry about yesterday. For it's past. Do not worry about tomorrow. For it brings its own worries. But rather, focus on today. Focus on the present. As I always quote the awesome thing from Kung Fu Panda, I always say this part. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. And that's why it's called the present. That was from Master Uwe in Kung Fu Panda. And you guys know I love quoting movie um, quotes. And you know I love quoting the characters. So... Guys, I really hope that you will understand that we need to start focusing more on our attention to God than on our worries. I know times are tough during this time, but we just need to keep on keeping on so that we can see each other very soon. So I hope you have an amazing Sunday and I hope you have an amazing week. Further, I pray that all will go well this week. And I pray for all the kids that are, or all you youth, should I say, that are at school this week again. I know most of you are fully back at school, just on a reduced timetable. I just want to say, I'm praying for you. I'm thinking of you. And again, I just want to say, if you ever need to talk, myself and Mark and all the other leaders, we are here to talk to you. All you need to do is just contact us. And we will be there. No matter what you're worrying about, we will always have an ear that listens. So with that being said, ladies and gents, have an amazing day and enjoy the song. Have a great day. You stood before creation Eternity in your hand And you spoke the earth into motion My soul now to stand You stood
still be for my feet carry the cross for my shame I still wait upon your shoulders my soul What could I say? What could I do? But I feel this heart broken down completely. I'm not afraid.